What is going on guys, Horcrux here, and I'm gonna show you how to make 400,000 gold an hour in the Elder Scrolls Online in 2023. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Before we hop into the bread and butter of this thing, like and sub to the video, all right? And if you subscribe, from what I'm told, you get better RNG drops in all your dungeons and your trial bosses, so yeah, it's a win-win. So why am I making this video in 2023? If you guys know about the channel at all, or maybe you're new, this is strictly a PvP channel. I haven't done any PvE whatsoever. With that being said, us PvP players are extraordinarily broke, okay? We have no way of getting money. We have no incentivization. We're not crafters. We're not grinders. So we're always broke, and we're always at the Undaunted Enclave begging for scraps and gold just so we can change our champion points or do a skill attribution allocation, all right? So... This guide is for everyone who wants the most brain dead, fast, efficient way to make over 400k gold an hour. And no guys, that is not a joke. And it is taking advantage of the inflation of the market right now on PCNA. Now, back in June, Gina Bruno did do a huge ban wave of bots. Now, these bots were strictly made for the harvesting nodes. With that being said, the economy has been greatly inflated over the months. And then right now, there is one particular item that is astronomically high than any other item in the game and that is drew wax so how are we going to transition farming drew wax into over 400k an hour so let's get into it so let me show you guys what i'm talking about so if you type in drew wax in the search bar now this is on pcna i do not know if this is true for other platforms or other servers but on pcna right now drew wax is monopolized and guys it is 45,000 gold per unit this is not for a stack of eight this is per unit this is the the most insane thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen Drew Wax this high. And you know we're going to absolutely abuse this while we can. I'm going to show you the best methods to make your farm the most efficient as possible. And this is the most brain dead method that you will ever find in all of ESO to make gold. Okay, so let me direct you to ESOUI.com. Now what you want to do is download an add-on. It is called Harvest Map. Type that in the search bar. The very first item you have here, harvest root for harvesting map. You want to click on this. And if you're not for sure how to do add-ons, if you're just new to PC, now this will not be applicable on console. I'm sorry, guys. You'll just have to memorize the paths yourself. But once you find an area you are comfortable with, that should not be a problem for you. So take a look down here. This is what it is going to look like. And I will show you a screenshot of how this is actually applicable. It shows you the most efficient farming routes for all materials. You can filter this by uh, your lumberjack materials, your mining materials, your clothing materials, giant clams whatever giant clams is another good resource of revenue because you get the pearls and those pearls are using the best potions in the game so uh, what you want to do you'll just hit download you'll pull up where your download went to this is very simple if you've not done this before so you have your harvest route here if it's zipped you'll have to extract it you'll just right click extract but for the purpose of this i'm just going to copy you'll just go over here to your documents You'll find your Elder Scrolls Online game. You'll go to your live, not the PCS. You go to add on, and then you'll just paste it in this folder right here. Completely close out your game, reopen it. It will be working for you. There is only one thing that I need to point out is that you also do have to download some of the dependencies. Um, it goes into detail on exactly what you need, how to explain the app on ESOUI.com here. And then also there is a quality of life feature uh, that I would suggest downloading as well as Harvest Maps tool. Uh, you'll need a uh, lib main menu 2.0 and lib add on menu. So with all that being said, I'll show you guys what it looks like in game. Okay, now let me explain a little bit about the add-on. It does take just a second to set up. So you go to your settings, you go to your add-on, you have your harvest map and your harvest map route. Now this is really what you need. So when you have this enabled, you'll have this little text box that pops up over here. What you wanna do, you wanna hit enable tracking. And what this does, it points you toward the resource nodes that you want that you can filter it here with the harvest map there's a lot that you can play around with what the pins look like uh the resource spawn filters for example if you don't want to see all the flora and fauna i just have it set here for clothing and here's kind of what happens so you go up to a node 
and you'll click on it. Now, this does not come preset with all the pins and all the nodes in the game, so you'll have to actually go out and find these yourself. But once you find them yourself, the one time you'll never have to do it again. Notice it puts a pin right here, very easy to see. You can set the distance, how far away you want to see this. Now, if you're very lazy, there is a way to download presets, what people have already excavated and found, but that is a little too complicated for me. I'm not going to include in this video. And essentially, you just go from node to node and will tell you the most efficient map possible. So right here is a node I haven't discovered yet. I'll go ahead and harvest this as well and we'll go to the next node. Now, once you complete three nodes, this is when the tour tracking starts to become active and will actually make you a route of the most efficient way possible to find the nodes in the most efficient, effective matter. All right, so once you farm your ancestor silk, take a look at the map. Now you can see in the mini map, it has a little trifecta of what you need to go. Now, this does only track your one session. Once you leave the area, it will stop tracking. So you notice all these nodes I have found. This tracking report only goes from what you've done literally in this session. So once you go around and find all these nodes, which I found all these on my own, I'm sure there's maps and guides to show you pinpoint exactly where all the nodes are. Once you do it the one time, you don't have to do it anymore. And then like this map shown here on the screen, this is what the in game looks like. And it will show you the most direct path to each node possible. Now to make this a lot quicker, you need to go to your champion points. You need to go over to your green tree. And it's very important that you have master gatherer, plentiful harvest, Gift of Drider and Meticulous Disassembly. This is going to increase the efficiency of getting Drew Wax from your refined materials. Gift of Drider so you can get around quicker. Plentiful Hardest just so you can get chances for a double resource node. Sometimes I've gotten eight and nine resources just from a single node. And then of course Master Gatherer to reduce the time it takes to actually harvest the material. Another thing to note is a really good passive to have to make sure you don't aggro anything here in Belkarth. Yes, we are in Belkarth. The reason we are here in Belkarth is for one, it's part of the base game. Number two, you can get fortified Nurn Crux as well as potent Nurn Crux. Potent Nurn Crux right now is going for 75,000 a pop and fortified Nurn Crux is 10,000. So on average per run per 15 minutes, it will take you about 15 minutes to complete this whole cycle if you're very efficient. Now, Certain times of the day, some boss are still remaining. They may take away a little bit from your efficiency, but it should take you about 15 minutes once you have all this mapped out. The first couple of times is gonna take you longer because you're still finding the resources, but after that, it's going to go a lickety split. So in about 15 minutes, you can expect 350 to 400 Ancestor Silk, and from that, you can expect to get two to three Drew Wags per disassembly. So to make that a little bit easier on you guys, uh, you, if you have access to the Dark Brotherhood, I highly suggest that you put this passive in, which is called Shadow Rider. Aggression radius from hostile monsters is reduced by 50% while mounted. This will ensure that every single node that you come across, like this guy right here, I don't have it on this character, but this group right here, you would typically aggro. Or if you go up here, there's a node in the top right hand corner, which I actually don't think I have plotted on this yet, but I know it exists because I used to do this farm every single day on my Xbox account. There's actually, it should be a node like right here somewhere. But this will make sure that you're not pulling aggro and you're constantly having to fight off all these annoying ass spawns and NPCs. Um, I, it, I know some of you guys are kind of inexperienced, or maybe you don't have a lot of gear and have time to deal with this. For example, you'll be able to get this Ancestor Silk really quick and not aggro these Walmas over here. You can see here in the background, all of the pins. Here's one, here's one, here's one. This is very, very good. Again, guys, you can customize this the way you want. If I go to mail and kind of take a look here, item sold, this is 10 Drew Wax. This literally took me like probably less than 10 minutes to actually get this. So there's an easy 400K gold. Yeah, it does take tax on 20,000 worth of tax based on guild store. So uh, yeah, that's like the easiest 400K you will ever make. And do not forget that you can also get fortified Nurn Crux and you can also get potent Nurn Crux, which sells for about 40,000 uh, between the two on average because these potent Nurn Crux is 70,000 and then fortified is 10K. Take the average and be about 40K. You'll get, you're expected to get the one of these once per run whether or not you get potent Nurn Crux or fortified Nurn Crux is just solely based on RNG and another superb source of Drew Wax that you crafters already know about is doing your daily writs now this is not capped per account so you can do your daily writs on each and every single character up to a possible 18 characters and the chances are pretty high that you're going to get a drew wax from completing the little side quest it takes literally 15 seconds to do and there's even add-ons that can legitly just do it for you so why am i even going over this so this is going to lead into the main subject of the video if you've made it this far of how to exactly stick it to the man ESO devs themselves now if you guys are unaware or may not know or are too blissful to know El the Elder Scrolls Online is a cash grab for Zenimax, for other endeavors, other 
than the Elder Scrolls Online. The revenue that the Elder Scrolls Online makes does not go back into the game. It goes to other future endeavors such as Starfield and whatever Bethesda projects that they have in store for us. Now what has contributed to the inflation in the market is the declining player population obviously as well as the massive bot wave ban. So there's fewer players farming these materials so that means supply and demand has increased. There's not enough demand so supply has to go up so you gotta pay more for the supply yada yada. So how's that going to benefit you guys in real life? Now, let me point out a simple fact here. On PCNA, the gold to crown ratio is 1,200 to 1. Meaning, if you wanted to pay for 15 crown crates, that is going to cost you approximately $45 to $50 USD real life money to get those 15 crown crates. You can get the exact same thing gifted to you from another player 1200 gold to one ratio and what that means is you can spend six million gold in game okay to acquire a 45 dollar item in the elder scrolls online now i do not condone gold selling websites okay i will show you a quick snippet of what you can potentially expect from this website it is against tos to buy sell or promote gold selling websites because this directly robs money from eso devs pockets so they do not want you using these sites so take a look here you can get five million gold for approximately seven dollars in real life cash now let's compare that to the crown store okay let's just say if i spent eight dollars and fifty cents that would give me 6 million gold. Now compare that to the crown crates, which would require you to spend 5,000 crowns, which is approximately $45 real life money, guys. Like this is $45, okay? Compare it to get the exact same item you can get from selling gold for $8.50, which is approximately 600 or excuse me, 6 million gold. So in the Elder Scrolls Online, the devs have marked up the value of the crowns approximately 600% compared to what you can get with the exact same thing just using gold. And this is a free, fast, efficient method for you guys to get gold in the Elder Scrolls Online. So what I'm trying to say, guys, is do not buy anything from the crown store that can be gifted to you. You can just simply buy it from people in game. There's a lot of reputable people out there. Yes, sometimes you will get scammed as a risk you're going to have to take. But when you compare $45 to $8 to get the same in game item to me, guys, that's that's just a no brainer. OK, again, guys, I do not condone gold selling websites, but that is a viable option for people willing to take that risk. I tried to be a free to play player. The only things that I pay for in this game is the ESO plus subscription. And that's because I absolutely just have to have the craft bag and the inventory space. I've played this game for nine years and there's just simply not enough space in the game to house all the items that I've possessed in this game and acquired over time. I'm a hoarder. I have a lot of nostalgic items and ESO devs know that even rich, not rich Lambert, but uh, rich Lambert has went on to say that the craft bag is the main selling point, And he even laughed on stream about what a riot having the craft bag is because they all know everyone has to have the craft bag and if you don't man you are playing inventory simulator 2027 and i condone you if you can do that i just simply do not have the time so within an hour's time, you're pretty much guaranteed 10 Drew Wax, which guarantees you an easy 400,000 gold. In addition, you can get bonuses, assuming you're farming a Belkarth of Fortified Nurncrux, which goes for 10k, and Poke Nurncrux, which goes from 70 to 75k based on your RNG. So in reality, you could probably get 500k an hour, and you can also sell the Ancestor Silk for 15k per stack if you guys really want to go the route and min-max your efficiency here. And guys, this is just Drew Wax. You can farm Tempering Alloys. Tempering Alloys are going for 20k right now on the PCNA. It, it is half as efficient as farming Drew Wax, but hey, that's a little bit extra gold. You're already out here anyway. You might as well get the most efficiency as you can, and you can do all that just by adjusting the filters in the Harvest Map add-on.
Yo guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. Do not forget to like and sub and a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep the channel alive. Yo guys, I really appreciate each and every single one of you. Do not forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter. If you have any ESO PVP top five tips you want a chance to be featured here on the channel, there's a link down in the description with a battle submission form for you to upload your clips. And if you guys have a better Druax farming route that you want to mention, please leave it down in the comments. I will pin it just so everyone can see it. Happy hauntings. Happy harvestings. This has been Horcrux signing out. Peace.